ready for the nephew. Let's go, Cat Dog. Hello? I'm trying to reach Terrence, please. Who's calling? Who's this? Hey, my name is Mark. My name is Mark. How you doing, brother? I work with um with your wife Veronica. We're on the same sales floor together. Uh, I think I met you before, but I'm, I don't know if you remember meeting me. But um, I, I work at the job with Veronica. Oh, is there is everything all right there, or what's going on? No, no, no. Everything's straight here on, at the job. No, not a problem at all at the job. But I wanted to. Is she um, all right, or is everything all right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's all right. She's perfectly fine, man. Um, I just, oh. I just, you know. Uh, I, I actually, like I said, my name is Mark, man. You don't remember me, Terrence, but I just wanted to talk to you. Like I say, um, you know, I got some things on that was, that's been bothering me for a minute. And I, you know, I just, I just kind of wanted to reach out to you and, you know, just kind of have like a little, little heart to heart talk with you, man. So maybe, you know, uh, you know, we can get things in a, in a, in a better position, but I just wanted, I, I just wanted me and you to have a conversation. Wait a minute. Did, how, how'd you get my, did Veronica give you my number or how did you get my number? That's what I'm trying to like what's going on? Uh, I mean, I had, I had, I've had your number. I just, I just, uh, I just hadn't never reached out to you before. But like I say, though, man, this, this, this has been bothering me for a minute, and I wanted to get it off my chest so you and I can try to, I guess, fix this whole issue. But I, I just want us to see if we can fix it. You know? Well, what, well, fix the issue? What's the issue? I don't understand. I'm, I'm not following you. I don't understand. What, like, what is the issue? So, but now, you know, like I said, I went on and got the nerve up to get you. Out. Brother, spit it out. Talk to me. What's going on? Okay. Your wife, man, is cheating on both of us. And we got to figure out how we got to do something about this, man. I, I'm, did you say she's eating on both of us? What did you say? I, I didn't she, she, she is cheating. Like she is cheating on the both of us, bro. Wait a minute. It sounds like you said cheating. I don't know what you. Re Veronica you know is. I mean? Listen to me, Terrence. Veronica is cheating on both of us. You say Veronica's cheating on me? And me, you know? And we gotta we gotta figure out what we're gonna do, man. But as a husband, I gotta you gotta I'm gonna need you to step up and get this thing in order. What you talking about? You say Veronica is cheating on me with you? No, no. She cheating on both of us with somebody else. What you I mean? I'm I'm no I've been noticing her going out with this, uh, you know, going to lunch with this other cat. So I, I'm like, I got pissed off about it. So I said, you know what? I can't take it no more. I'm calling Terrence. Wait, you saying to me that my wife has been cheating around the job with somebody else? She cheating on both of us, dude. I don't get what you mean. If my wife is cheating on me and you calling me to tell me that she's cheating on me, I appreciate that. But I don't get what you're saying she's cheating on both of us, then. I don't get that part. I don't understand what you mean. Are well, me and Veronica have been, you know, kind of cool, you know, last eight months to a year. We've been, you know, pretty tight here at the job. You know what I'm saying? So, Listen, what you mean y'all been cool? That's what I don't understand. Like, what do you mean y'all been cool? Because that's my wife. Tell me what you're talking about. You okay, all I'm saying is me, me, me and her been real cool. We've been real tight, you know. Sometimes we, we take lunch and then, you know, don't come back. That's our thing, though. But, you know, now... You know, I'm noticing, you know, she she done went out, you know, she done went to lunch a couple of times with this brother named Alan, and I'm like, okay, no, nah, no, nah, it ain't finna go down like this here. You know what I'm saying? Are you f***ing my wife, man? Hey, that's that's not why I called you. I called Are you to you my wife. That's what I want to know. I'm telling you about this dude named Alan. I need you to step up as the husband and but, fix this. But you telling me that my wife is cheating on both of us. There ain't no cheating on both of us. If she's cheating, she's cheating on me. You telling me that you're with my wife too? That you've been messing around with my wife? I don't that's not the, what you're saying, brother. Th that's not the part I'm trying to talk about. I'm trying to talk about this dude named Alan, man. That's what no, I'm trying to get I, out. No, no, we're gonna get to Alan. We're gonna get to Alan. You saying that my wife, man, it's some crazy. Shit. Yo, you know what, man? I'm about to put my foot right up your. Cause they, what, what, I don't play those games. You with her. She's with me. We messing around. We doing this and doing that. It don't work like that. You understand what I'm saying? No, I hear what you're saying. But the I, beef ain't with me. The beef is the with Allen. The, the beef is dog. with you. My no, she messing over. She messing you. over both of us with Allen, dog. I'm about to call her on three way because this some right here. I'm telling okay, you. Okay, right well now. Hold, hold on, bro. I just want you to deal with Allen. Are you at the job right now? I'm at. I'm at the, at the job. job. Yeah. I'm about to come put my foot all in your. You understand me? No, I, I hear you, man. Allen is the one 
that then blew this thing out of proportion, dog. She messing over me and you with this here. There ain't no me and you. I don't share. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. I, I, I no, mean, I, you don't I follow... hear me. You don't hear me. I don't share. There ain't no sharing that goes on over here. Okay, okay. Do you follow right. me? I do, I do. I'm just saying, you know. What are you saying? Meet me right that... now. Meet me right now. I'm about to come up here where you at right now. Where are you at? I'm at the job where where where, where Ronnie at. I call her Ronnie. I'm at the job where Ronnie at. I call her Ronnie. I call, I call Veronica Ronnie. I mean that's my little nickname too. I'm All right, but just but, well hold on, hold on, hold on, Ronnie, Ronnie, Ain't Ronnie. No hold on, hold on she right here. One, she's right where? She she she's she right, right here. here, right here. Put you, her on the phone. You want to put her on the phone? Huh? Put her okay. on the phone. Okay, cool, man. Here, cool. But can I tell you what she's saying? I don't want to hear what she said. I want her on the phone right now. Okay, but can I tell you what she telling me to tell you? She ain't telling you to tell me a damn thing. Because the only thing that you're going to be getting is my foot up your Okay, okay, but, but 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 Ronnie want me to tell you this, man. Just listen to me, Terrence. She wants me to tell you that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your wife, Veronica. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I don't play this. I'm gonna f all y'all up up here, man. <laughs> I'm gonna f all y'all up. I'm gonna give you an old school <laughs> whooping. Y'all ain't even right for that. You all right, man? I'm sweating. No, I'm not all right. I'm in the car. I'm sweating. I was on my way over there. I'm about to go to jail messing around with y'all. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? You already know. It's <laughs> <laughs> all the morning show. <laughs> Come on. Hello. Uh, hello, I'm trying to reach your sister. This is she. Uh, how you doing? I, I'm giving you a call on behalf of uh, Baptist Church. You you are a member there, am I right? Yes, I am. Okay. Listen, um... I'm calling you. They, they, uh, some of the members have gotten together and had a meeting and mm -hmm. wanted me to give you a call. Have, uh, it, it seems that uh, a lot of them are complaining about Sunday services that go on and wanted for me to give you a call on their behalf so that we can see if we can address the problem and talk to you diligently as possible and try to get the problem rectified. What, what's going on? Well, it seems like that... Um, a lot of uh, of members are complaining. I'm sorry, and what is your name again? Uh, my name is <laughs> ma'am. Uh, uh, I'm not actually a member of the church. I've just been the one that they've been asked to give you a call and, and try to talk on the members' behalf so maybe we can get this problem rectified that you ha that they have uh, as far as you are concerned. Now, okay, go ahead. Well, I'm just trying to see what this is in regards to. Go ahead. Well, it, it seems like the members of the church are complaining about that you're doing too much shouting at church on Sunday, and it seems to be going on every Sunday. You running up and down the aisle, and you shouting all over the place. And it's oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Me? I, I've been singled out about well, my shouting? Well, Is that what you're saying? Well, evidently, it's distracting, ma'am. You're distracting everyone from getting the word and listening to the word and being involved in the service. And that's the purpose of the call is to see if we can get you to tone it down some. Okay, so the whole church is complaining about me shouting the way people run up and down their mouths every Sunday and almost turn cartwheels and flips, and they singling me out complaining about me? Well, ma'am, I don't know how it is that you can see everybody else doing cartwheels when you're the ones that, that they say is the one that's doing them. You okay, well, how am, I, how am I being singled out? Ma'am, all I'm saying is, is that they're saying that you're doing too much shouting and too much running at this church. Now, I, I'm just the messenger. Okay, well, well they, they can't tell me how to shout. They don't. They can't tell me what's going on in my life, what's going to keep me from praising God. I, and I, now, they, I mean, they could just, they, they could go somewhere else with that, but they are not going to tell me that I can't praise my God. They don't know how good God has been to me. I, and, and you know what? I understand that. I agree with you wholeheartedly, but... It's becoming a distraction. I mean, they they was at the point last night talking about should we put some seat belts on the pews so so you can stay down. I wish they would put some seat. But how are they gonna tell people they can't shout in church and praise God? What what do we come to church for? Well, you do come to. They uh, need to be trying to praise God and get their own shout on and stop looking at me and worrying about what I'm doing. We are gonna need you to quit running up and down these aisles and doing well, that's what. That's not going I'm sorry. 
always say, you know, I'm, I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying my best. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Sir, that, that's not happening. You can't tell me I got to stop shouting. Okay, ma'am, but let me ask you something. Are you running now? Aren't you just standing still talking? No, because I don't have to run right now. Okay, I, what I'm trying to get you if to I do. I feel like if I want to run up and down this street right now, I can run up and down this street and praise God. But they're not going to tell me to stop shouting at church. Can we get you to be a little bit more reserved as what we are? See, ma'am, let me ask, let me go ahead and go further on what they do. I, I, move, I move how the spirit moves. Okay, well, let me move and tell you what they've told me. Now, if, if, if we can't get to the point where you can, you know, tone it down, then we may have to ask you to leave. I just want to let them ask me, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus, you Ma'am? let them ask me, why would they want me to leave the church? Ma- I'm, I've been at that church for 15 years. I'm not leaving the church. I'm going to run up and down. I'm not going to run the church. I'm, I may even turn me some flips where I'm not. I feel well, like it. Now, 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 listen. That's, I'm, that, that's all I'm Okay, go ahead. What, I'm going to be there. You, I'm you going to, I, I am sir? going to be there on Sunday, ma'am. And I have been the person that's been appointed to make sure that you're not running up and down these aisles and shouting like this. You got to keep yourself reserved so people can hear the word of God. You are standing in people's word. That's what you're doing. You're in the way you of. You know what? If they come trying to sit me down, I'm going to give them a word and it ain't going to be a God. So, now, let them put their hands up on me here. Yeah? Now, listen. Yeah, I'm telling you that now. You, you could say, I haven't been in that church 15 years. If I want to run, dance, shout, jump, scream, whatever I want to do, I'm going to do it. And ain't nobody going to stop me. You're going to have to stop this. This past Sunday was your last Sunday doing it, and you're watch not going to do it this Sunday. I, well, like I said, just why? And I'm telling you, you could tell the urchins, the deacon board, the deaconess, the minister's wives, or whoever else you want to tell, let them put their hands on me and see if I don't swing on them. I'm going to come right about the spirit and swing on them. I'm telling now, you that now. Because, see, sir, you can really push me that. I done tried. I done tried my Well, let me ask stay you this here. You. Where, where I is... I tried to show that I'm saved and I, delivered, I... but you make it, you, you making me revert back to my own ways, and you... You really finna f*** me off. That's what you finna do. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Where is the God at right now in you? Where is the you one that's... Right was, the God was in me when I was trying to be calm with you at first to tell you don't be calling me with this foolishness. But now you done made the other side of me raise up. Well, you done raise I'm it up in... Now. You done raise it up in me, too. Guess what? Come Sunday, you're gonna sit your f*** in that pew, and you ain't gonna... I'm move. saying you know. Oh, you call yourself a man of God. You can't take him off. Sit your f*** in the pew. Okay, all right. All right, we're going to see how well my is in that pew. Matter of fact, first thing Sunday morning, I'm going to pastor. Oh, yeah. When your deacon, whoever you are, whatever your name is, I'm going to tell them about it. Y'all better, however gave you my number, you need to lose it. I would be talking to pastor myself and letting him know about this situation. You don't now, talk. I you don't. Pastor, we can call pastor right now. We can get pastor on freeway. You don't talk to pastor. I talk to pastor. I talk to pastor. I done been at this church 15 years. Like I said, I'm telling you, oh, Jesus, G, oh, you, you finna, oh, Jesus. Now, 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 see, just like this here, you see ooh, how you calling ooh, on him Jesus, and you standing? Jesus. Yeah, because I'm calling on him to keep me from just really going and cuss you out right now, because you done really hit my nerve. I got one more thing I need to say to you, lady. Well, you know what? You better say it real quick, because you finna talk to this operator. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got <laughs> pranked by your girl. <laughs> You know, oh, see, you know what? <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm a kid in my butt. Oh, gee, oh, oh, Lord. Y'all see, you had me up here cursing on the fuck. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I got one more thing, baby. Let me ask you something. What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. <laughs> Church folks are the best. You know what I'm saying? When you, you play too much. Dude, come on now. Bed bug. Let's go, cat dog. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to speak to Shanice. Uh, she's not here right now. I'm going to take a message. Uh, you, do you know when she's coming back? Nah, is this a business call or something? Nah, nah, this is personal. I need to talk to her immediately. Nah, you need to talk to me. This this a man. This, uh, who is this? This is this is Brandon. Who, who, who are you? I'm Ernest, man, but uh, how do you know Shanice? I, I got a bit of a situation here, man, uh, and it, it's basically a financial situation that I'm owed some money from her. So I kind of need to talk to her about about getting this money. Uh, is is totally disrupted my whole apartment, and I need to actually see about talking to her about getting this whole problem taken care of. What, what's the what's the situation? 
What, what's, the, what's going on? I mean, I, I'm basically right now I'm twenty five hundred dollars in the rears due to due to Shanice, and and I I you know I I need to see if she's gonna be able to pay me for the situation or what you know. Do my girl owe you money? She she owes me twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars for what? I don't even know who you are, first of all. So, what's up with the twenty five hundred dollars? Uh, man, first of all, my name is Brandon. Okay? okay, and I've been I I know I've been knowing Shanice probably for the last three or four months now. Okay, so the, here you you want to know it all in a nutshell is it's like this. Shanice been coming through. Okay, for the last three or four months, been coming over here to my spot to my apartment, hanging out. I'm just now finding out within the last two weeks. Um, it's I had to get rid of my couch. I had to get rid of my mattresses because your mattress because it's bed. Your mattress. Wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute. So you trying to tell me she was in your bed? Yeah, she been in my bed, dude. She been in your bed. Are you crazy? Hey man, come hey on man. now, dude. Listen, you know, you know, hey, dude, the problem is not right now. where she's been. The problem is, is you talking twenty five hundred dollars? You talking about my girl was in your bed? Now we not even gonna get into that. You understand what I'm saying? But that twenty five hundred dollars, you can forget about it. No, 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 no. First Hold up. First of all, you no. calling here? You calling here? You calling here? And here is dude answer the phone, and you still got the d- to ask for her, and then go tell me about some twenty five hundred dollars about some d- mattress? Dude, I'm out. My my mattresses, man, are a thousand bucks. It's full of bed bugs. I had to throw that away. Man, I'm not worried about no damn mattress, dude. You talking about my girl? We've been together for four years. I'm about to pop the question on her, and you want to sit there talking about she been hanging with you or kicking with you for the last four months? It's about to be over in a minute. Dude, now, if you want to marry Shanice, cool. I don't care nothing about nah, that. Nah, hey, don't even worry about that now. But you over my phone talking about some damn mattress, man. That's that's a problem, dude. I ain't worried about no damn mattress. I'm worried about I ain't problem, got no man. mattress you right now. My house? You call it mine? Tell me that I do not have crazy? a mattress right now, nor do I have a couch. Do you understand the problem that brings to me? I don't care nothing about, about your mattress or couch, dude. I don't care nothing about that. Your name? You say your name, Brandon? I'm Brandon, yes. Yeah, Brandon, okay, don't worry about it, Brandon, because you're going to find me real soon. Don't let me find you before you find me, though. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Dude, dude, dude. No, because you, you can have them bed bugs and that mattress or whatever. Answer these for all I care. But what I'm saying is, you talk about some bed bugs, ain't no bed bugs over here. Okay, so, so what's she getting the bed bugs from? She done brought them over here to my place. I don't care nothing about it. She ain't bring nothing over there, first of all. But I ain't, that ain't even a problem right now. Dude, you, Shani, you, you, you call me been over, over here, man. I ain't had account. nobody else over here. Right. Don't worry about who you had over there, but you don't go call here and talk about no money. You ain't getting nothing from here. Okay, first of all, dude, check this out. I don't have a problem with you, okay? Me and you cool. No, me we and you got cool. a problem. We already got a problem. You calling me talking about you been sleeping with my girl. Hey, dog, dog, once, I'm going to say it again. Me and you cool, dog. We dude, cool. We not cool. We not cool. First dog, of all, dog, I'm going to find problem. out who you are. I'm going to handle Sinise myself. I'm going to you. I'm gonna handle you later. What you, what, you, what you talking about? You you going to handle me. I'm going to handle you later. You want a mattress, right? Hey, hey, dude. dude you want a mattress, right? Ahead and marry Shanice. I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. My don't problem worry about is that. getting my money back, man, for the for the property of mine that she has ruined, man. I, don't worry about that. I'm going to get you a mattress. Don't worry about that. It's going to be a casket wrapped around that no. Hey, hey, dude, dude. Why are you sitting here creating the drama with me when me, me and you, we ain't even the problem? The problem is Shanice. The problem is you picked up your phone and you called here. That's the problem. Okay. Now you got okay, two problems. Dude. You ain't got no couch. You ain't got no mattress. Now you got a dude after you. You understand what I'm saying? You know what? I, I see I can't talk to you. When do Shanice get home, man? Don't worry about when Shanice get home. Okay. What you need to worry about is when I find you. Okay, so so when, when I, you going to have my money then when you find me? Because I need my money. Yeah, I'm going to have your money. I'm going to have your mattress too. Please understand. You're going to be resting real well. Yeah. Okay, okay. So so let me ask you this here, man. Shanice bring bed bugs over to my house. Leave them all in my mattress. Leave them all on my couch where I got to throw my stuff away. Where I'm wrong at, man? Where I'm wrong? I'm going to ask you straight up. Did you know she had a man? Say what? Did you know she had a man? But, I, I mean, kind of, kind of, sort of, but not really, though. I ain't no kind of, sort of, man. Either you know she got a man or she don't got a man. You knew she had a man, right? And you still went and did it, right? Hey, dog, I ain't got nothing to do with y'all, man. I, I'm, I'm dealing with these bed bugs. You understand what I'm saying? Dude, do you understand you messing up a, a four-year relationship? You know how much time I put in with this woman? Four hey, years. Hey. Four years, we about, to get, we about to get married. And you calling here with this When are y'all supposed to get married? Don't worry about when we supposed to get married, man. You messed that all up. What I'm trying to explain to you is, dude, you calling here on some bed bug 
which I know she ain't got nothing to do with, but the fact that you told me that she was over your house, in your bed, that's over. It's over now. You understand what I'm saying? Now, when she get home, I'm going to deal with that. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to get dealt with. I'm walking up out of here. But when I leave here, please believe my next stop is to come find your ass. First of all, how did you get the number to this apartment? That's what I want to know. Hey, dude, she gave me both numbers, the cell phone number and the house number, and told me, you know, if it's an emergency, call the house. Okay, and this is an emergency? Yeah, this is an emergency. I well, got bad well, clubs, well, man. Well, well, learn, learn another emergency number. Learn 911, because when I come knocking on your door, either you come out or you handle it, or you better call the cops. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? <sighs> hey, man, do you think Tommy will pay for the bad bugs? Who is Tommy? I'm just saying, do you think Tommy will pay for the bed, bud? Who the f is Tommy? Tommy, dog. Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Ernest, you just got pranked by your girl, Shanice. <laughs> man. Y'all, y'all. Woo! You all right, man? Woo! Boy, hey. Well, it was over. It was over. You understand what I'm telling you? It was over. <laughs> Too far. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Hey, man, let me tell you something. Hey, Cozy, Cozy TV. Let's go, cat. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, Marcus. Uh, Marcus. Yeah, this is me. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me pretty good? Yeah, I can hear you, man. Go ahead. Hey, hey listen. Um, turn the, hold on. Let me turn the radio down for a second. Go ahead. Hey, hey, listen, I live in, in uh, I live in an apartment building that you just moved into. Uh, I live in 21A, I, and you live above me uh, in 22A. Uh-huh. I actually got your number from the leasing office. I told him I wanted to welcome you to the apartment building, man, but uh, I, I didn't want to really raise no eyebrows, but I was really calling about, you know, you know, first of all, let me go ahead and say welcome to the building, man. I hope that you and your, your uh, is that your wife that lives with you? First of all, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. But uh, why would you need to have my number to do that? You could have just came and knocked on my door, man. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, see, what the reason why, I mean, I really called and got the number was kind of reach out to you, man. I don't be wanting to start no trouble with nobody or nothing like that. I be wanting to, you know, I want, I want my neighbors to be cool with me, and I want to be cool with my neighbors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's cool. So I, I was reaching out, man, because, you know, the, the noise, man, I was, I'm, um, I work at night, and I, I sleep during the day, man, but it seems like, since you guys moved in, man, in the middle of the day, it's, it's you know, I, I mean, I, I know what it's like to have a lady. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're hearing noises coming from my place in the middle of the day? Right, I mean, I, I'm, I'm hearing, I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm hearing you making love to your lady, man. I mean, it's... <laughs> nah, nah, man, nah, nah. You know what it is? You might be hearing something from another, another unit, man. It's definitely not coming from us, because I'm at work. And my, you know, my girl is there, but she's on the computer. You know, she's looking for a gig right now. Uh, hello? Okay, 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 wait a minute now. Sir, you live in apartment 22A, right? Yeah. Okay. See, I live in 21A. Your, your bedroom is above my bedroom. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. You're telling me that you hear in noises that sound like somebody's making love coming from my crib at this time of day and I'm not there and only my woman is there? Dude, man, you know, I get it. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I, I appreciate you calling and, and, you know, neighbor and all that. 21 you said you went, right? Uh, y yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm man, look, I mean, you called me, all right? So let's get to the bottom of this one time. You saying you hearing this? What kind of news are you hearing exactly? Tell me. Hey, 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 hey! You know what, man? This is probably just a big mistake. I mean, maybe she's just hanging some pictures or something, bro. I, hey, for, you know what? Let me know. No, 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 man. I, I apologize. Ain't no all pictures, man. We ain't even brought no pictures yet. I mean, you calling me like you hearing a black hammer going off in my crib? What are you talking about, man? Hey, hey, man. Listen, um, Marcus. I, I apologize. I apologize. I'm, 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 I'm. You know, I'm. No, no, my man. You telling me I'm a man? You understand what I'm saying? I don't uh, know what you are, but I'm a man. No, I, I, you I, I, me, I understand. You calling me? You calling me? Telling me you hearing noises coming from my crib that sound like somebody? And now you telling me don't worry about it? Maybe you hey, hey, man. All I'm saying is maybe it's just a, a legitimate mistake. I don't think maybe she hanging some pictures or moving some furniture or something like that. Ain't no I, pictures, I, I, man. I keep telling you that. Ain't no pictures. Ain't nobody hanging. This it shouldn't be no noise coming from my crib. <sighs> hey, man, I ain't trying to 
trying to. I ain't trying to start no trouble, man. Oh, you not okay. starting to man, you hey, man, man, All I was calling trouble. about was trying to get a decent decent rest, man. I, I work at night, bro. That's all I'm talking about, man. I'm not trying to I don't give a if you want the graveyard shit. I don't care. You calling me telling me about my crib that I just moved into. You ain't amazing. I ain't no going on like that. Man. I don't even believe it. Oh, I mean, you got the right address. Where you live at, man? You live at the crib, man? Yes, man, in apartment 21A, and your place is above mine, man. Hold on, man, hold on, man, hold on. You pull this truck over, man. Hold on one second, man. Because you talking so Oh, dude, good. hey, man, look, I'm not I'm not trying to have no trouble, man. I'm not trying you to have no trouble, man. man. I, you can't tell you for working there, dude. I do 50 hours a week, man. I don't need to hear no like this. Okay, okay, dog, I'm not, all I'm saying is, man, I thought... I thought you was making love to your your woman, man. That's what I thought. That's why I called you to ask y'all to keep the noise down. I ain't making love to my wife. I ain't even on my ass right now. I'm on my radio. Trust that. He's gonna hear this when he And I'm coming right to your crib to hear it. I ain't hearing from your crib. No, no, hold on, hold the hell up, dude. You're not coming to my crib. You're 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 coming to my crib. You don't know me. I ain't letting you in my house, man, about no man that you got going on upstairs. You got to control your woman, man. That ain't got nothing to do with me. What the f***? I tell you nothing about my woman. You don't even know my woman. I know she's been, I know she been out there. I know she been out there weighing it out for the last two weeks between 12 and 2. I know that. You got to eat. You talking to gang man. I'm coming to your Help. You ain't coming to my apartment, man. I'm not in. Hey, man, listen. Uh -huh, no, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Shit, I'm telling you. You got trouble. I'm coming in your crib, man. Hey, I got I'm one more thing I need to say to you, man. Did you listen? From my crib. I ain't even home. I got one more thing I need to say, all right? All right? You better you be, listen. You better be telling me you opening the door. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your homeboy. Wait a minute, hold on. What the f***? Hey, you live in 21A, man? Step away from 21A, please. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your boy got me to prank you, man. Oh, Oh, <laughs> Damn. Are you at 21A? Dude, I'm right outside my apartment, man. I'm ready to blow that thing up, man. Yes, you Tommy? Oh, just tell me, man. How you doing, brother? Oh, man, man, Tommy. You you had me going, man. I was coming to f up, man. I'm serious, man. I got one more thing I got to ask you before I let you go, man. What is? What is the baddest radio show in the land, man? Man, it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show, without a doubt. Hey, man, step away from 21A. Step away. <laughs> Step away Ooh, from it. Oh, Next dope. Let's roll. Come on, Kevin. Hello, I'm trying to reach, uh, Mr. Is it Dolphin? Dolan? Dolan, Dolan. Mr. Dolan? Yes, sir. How you doing? My name is, uh, uh, uh Clifford. Clifford. Yeah, what can I do for you, Mr. Uh, you, you, you live at, um, uh, Ch Cheshire Drive? Why do you want to know that? Uh, well, actually, I, I, I'm, I'm at 1623. I bought, I bought the, uh, I, I actually bought the house that was for sale next door to you. Oh, okay. Well, well congratulations. But how did you get my number? Uh, well, actually, the realtor told me that he, he had your number because I said I wanted to reach out to the neighbors next door, and he, and he told me that Mr. Dolan was actually the person next door, and and uh, he didn't think you would mind me me actually getting the number. Okay, well, I'll, I'll talk with the realtor uh, later, but what can I do for you, sir? Well, well what, I, what I wanted to know is, do, do you have any problems, like, living next door to, 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 to black people? I'm sorry, what did you just ask me? I mean, like, like I, you know, like I said, I just bought the place next door, and I, I wanted to know, do you have any problems, you know, living next door to black people? Uh, no, sir. Uh, I have no problem. I'm assuming you're a black man, and uh, I have no problem with that. Uh, I judge people by their actions, not their color. Okay. Now, do you, do you, do you have any any black people experience? Well, yeah, I've worked with, gone to school with, have several friends of many different ethnicities. Uh, but what is it? What's this? How is 
his relative. Well, you know, like I say, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be living next to you, and I, I'm just making sure that you know you and I can coincide or coexist with, rather uh, on on the same block and not really have a problem with one another. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Well, do you have a problem with white people? No, no, no. I don't have a problem with white people. I, I, I'm cool. I'm just I'm just trying to make sure you know. Uh, I mean, because me and you already have a bit of a problem already. You know. Oh, oh so, we do. Yeah, yeah, we we have a problem. I'm, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm bothering me while I'm at work. What's your problem? Okay, well, my problem is this: is that you know, after purchasing the property, I went downtown to the city and actually looked at you know the the layout of this entire property. And when I look at it, you actually 25, close to 30 feet over the property line. Well, no, you're looking at the wrong map. No, no. The fence that separates my backyard from your backyard, you are 30 feet over that. That's impossible. You know, no, no. Listen, and I know this. Now, let me, let me, I'm going to tell you how, how, how I looked at You got a jacuzzi in your backyard, right? Oh, so you've been, you've been spying on me? No, I haven't been spying on you, sir. I'm just telling you. Cl close to that, not far from that fence line, don't, don't you have a jacuzzi there? Well, you, as a matter of fact, I do, yes. Okay. Now the pool is the pool is okay, but but if I if I push that fence line back thirty and actually get the property that I'm supposed to have, I pretty much own yo 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 jacuzzi, yo hot tub. I see. Okay. Let me tell you something. Uh, I've been in that house for 10 years. We put that fence up when we moved in, and it was based on the property line that was that was set when uh, 10 years ago. I don't know what you're looking at, but my fence is not moving. My jacuzzi's not moving, and there's there's no changing that. Okay. Well, let me let me let me. I'm glad you you, you voice what you wanted to voice. Now 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 you hear you hear old Clifford out. Let me tell you something. Uh, Either we're going to take the fence line and move it where it's supposed to be, or we're going to put a gate between uh, uh, our two yards, and I'm going to be able to come and get in this jacuzzi and pool whenever I want to. All right, let's, 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 let's talk about this. First of all, there's gonna, not going to be any gate, okay? And, and as far as you just coming over and getting in the jacuzzi at will, uh, i got a real problem with that. Uh, you've called me at work. Uh, I'm on the job, and I'm having to listen to this on a future neighbor uh, who, who's making weird claims about how he owns part of my land. I own the jacuzzi, sir. No, no, you did not pay for that jacuzzi. You did not pay for that fence. You just showed up making a, a call me at work and, 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 and then hand me some story uh, with no evidence. I'll go down to City Hall and look at those papers myself because I don't trust the word you're saying. I've been there for 10 years. I've had 10 other neighbors in that backyard. Y'all cycle through once a year, I swear, and I've never had any problems with them until you come along. This is some Okay, well, I tell you what, here's, here's something you need to understand. You got a new black neighbor, and you got a new black neighbor that owns part of, owns your jacuzzi because you're over the fence line, all right? And as soon as I move in, I'm coming and I'm getting in my jacuzzi. The you will, man. You know what I mean? This no. Move into that. I'm going to use the jacuzzi on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You get it on Tuesday, Thursday, and the weekend. That's it. Because part of this damn jacuzzi belongs to me. The jacuzzi is owned by a black man and a white man. And we're going to get along. Bottom line. Look here. Well, listen here, you. Who are you to dictate what days I get to use my jacuzzi? Because it's not coming over to my it's jacuzzi. It's not just your you jacuzzi. Are not. It's our jacuzzi because you you built it. That's the only thing that makes it yours. It being on my part of the property helps make it mine. So therefore, we're going to share this damn jacuzzi and we're going to try to get your in my jacuzzi. I'm tossing your across the fence. I will be there Mondays, Wednesdays, and you ain't going to be I'll be standing at my jacuzzi with a shotgun. You take one step over to my property, my property line. I swear, if I could jump through this phone, I'd wring your neck. You know who's going to be in there with me? Who? Who the is going to be in there? I'm going to have Cunningham in the damn jacuzzi. Who? Cunningham. My co-worker? <laughs> what the? Hey, man, this is Nephew Tommy, man. Your, your, your boy Cunningham got me to prank phone call you. This, oh, that. Oh, payback to. <laughs> <laughs>
you, man. We got you. You got me good. Hey, I got one more thing to ask you, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Radio Show. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hello? Roger, can I, can I speak to Roger? Yeah, this is Roger. Hey, uh, this is Calvin, man. How you doing? I go to the same church y'all go to. Okay. I, I got your number from one of the guys at the church, man. They, they told me that if I wanted to talk to you, I could, I could reach out to you or whatever. I, how you doing today? I'm good, man. I'm good. How can I help you? Your, your wife, man, does she, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything, but she seems to be real fit. Does she Does she work out all the time? Yeah, she go to the gym every once in a while, bro. Yeah. Who, who, who is this, bro? Like I said, my name's Calvin, man. We go to the same church. Listen, me and my wife have been trying for a long time, man, to actually have some kids. And okay. to be honest with you, Roger, man, it just, it just ain't happening, dog. I mean, we've been trying and trying, but what I'm trying to do now is just find another type of way to make this happen. Now, you say your wife is, is, is in good condition, right? My wife is in good condition, brother. What what does she got to do with you and your wife trying to have a baby? She, you know, now y'all already got kids, don't you? Y'all got like, from what the brother at the church told me, y'all got three kids, right? Yeah, we got three. I got two boys and a girl. Okay. Here's what I'm trying to do, man. I was hoping that I could find somebody, a female, that would be a good surrogate mother. A what? You you know, what I'm saying is, like, because my wife, I mean, you know, we want to have kids, man. We want to have oh, a family. Oh, 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 hold on, brother. You just said you try, you're looking for a surrogate mother, and the brother the church told you to call me? Well, no, no, no. Ain't nobody tell me to actually call you. I, I asked them about you and your wife, you know, I asked them for your phone number so I could actually call you myself, man. Wait a minute. So you've been, you've been eyeing my wife? No, 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 no. no I ain't been. I, see, you're looking at it wrong. Listen, what I was saying oh, is that uh, your, your wife just seems like a healthy, healthy person. I want to be able to have a healthy child, man. I really do, man. That, me and my wife, we... we look, 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 look. You called me about my wife and you want her to be a surrogate mother for you. I don't even know why we on the phone, brother. Here's the real deal, man. Me and my wife, we can't have kids. We've tried and tried and tried. And, you know, biologically, we've just been going through it and going through it, man. And I was just, you know, I've seen your wife. She's healthy. I see y'all at church all the time. And I was just, like, reaching out, man. Maybe somebody wouldn't mind being the surrogate mother for, for, for me and my what? wife so we can have a child. I think you didn't Surrogate mother? I'm, I, I uh, mean, I'm, brother, dog. Brother, I, 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 hold, 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 hold on, brother. You calling me to see if my wife can be a surrogate mother to your child? No, and I, I know it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, you know you I, and, 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 I think you hey. lost your mind, brother. <sighs> Out of all the members in the church, you calling me to get my wife to have your baby? No, I know it sounds crazy, man. I do. It I know it sounds But I'm right just... ignorant, brother. I'm sorry? Hey, you sound ignorant. Man, there's so many places to go adopt a baby. I can take you down to the county courthouse and show you kids need to adopt right now. But you can go to Africa like 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 all the rest of them people and go find you a baby. You're going to call me and my wife? There's 20,000 members in this church. Do you know how stupid you sound, brother? No, no, br brother, brother. I, and, man, listen, man, I'm not trying to come across like that, man. Well, how are you trying to come across, brother? You done done it. Just hear me out, man. I don't want you to. Man, go, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Okay. We looking for a surrogate mother. We look we we seen your your wife and we thought she'd be a great surrogate mother. And I know it sounds crazy for me to pick you out of all the people that go to the church. I understand that, man. I mm -hmm. do. But listen, we would love for your wife to be the surrogate mother. And we're willing to pay for this. Man, this ain't about But listen to me. If you don't mind, we don't want to do this with no test tubes and all that where they, they mix my seed with her with with, with her egg. We want to do this naturally. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You want to repeat what the you just said, man. You, you, you got to understand a real man want to do, want to do it you, realistically. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just saying. You, I brother, did, brother, hold on, hold on, brother. You, are you telling me that you want to have sex with my wife? But I mean, I mean, you know, you know, you, you, you want to have me a, lose all my Christianity right now, brother. You want to have a baby the real way, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn having the fake way. You tell me you want to lay down with, in a bed with my. Wife? But, dog, you already got three kids. Think about the people that can't oh, have them, man. Go adopt a baby, man. Take your down there and go adopt the damn baby. Because you can go see a damn psychiatrist. Bro, so what I don't want to have your baby. Do you know what you sound like? Dog, crazy? I, I know it sounds crazy, man. I do. 
How did, how did you get my number, man? Listen how to me. did you get my number? I got your number from one of the brothers at the church. Now, listen, I'm going to just be real with you like a man. I wanted to come at you first and talk to you like a man and see, you know, if you was cool with the proposition. But, look, come Sunday, I'm going to go to your wife and just talk to her. What? I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna talk to your wife and see if you lost your mind. I told you to answer no. Now you tell me you'll go around me and I. What you ain't gonna do is talk to my wife. You yeah, call I'm my wife. You right now. I'm talking to your wife. You, your wife you call my wife. Okay? I'm gonna tell you what's really gonna happen. I'm you call my wife. Your wife next Sunday. I'm not gonna sit and go through this with and you back and forth. I'm talking to her next Sunday. Next Sunday, I'm gonna whoop your. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. I'm gonna whoop your. Me and my wife, we deserve a child too. You ain't. You ain't gonna stand in the middle of this. I'm. I'm in the middle of this. You lost your mind. You talk to my wife next week. You want to? I got one more thing I want to say to you, man. Is you listening to me? Say what the you gotta say so you can get off my phone. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your homeboy. What? <laughs> this is who? <laughs> This is this listen. Man, who this is, is this man? This nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your homeboy got me to prank phone call you. Man, I'm, I'm over here, man. My head is spinning. <laughs> you all right, man? You got me calling, brother. I'm I'm ready to fight, brother. <laughs> hey, I got one more thing to ask you, big dog. What, what, what's what up, is man? What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest <laughs> radio show in the land. Man, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Y'all got me this morning, man. Y'all got me, man. <laughs> oh, come on, Tommy. Wow. Uh, Tommy, that was good. Cozy TV. Let's go, cat dog. Hello. Hey, man. Who the, who the, who the, who is the person I need to talk to about? I got a pizza that's been messed up. Who do I need to talk to? Well, you can talk to me, sir. Well, what's going on? What happened to your pizza? Somebody put some f***ing anchovies on my pizza. Black people, uh, black people don't eat no f***ing anchovies, man. So, uh, so who, 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 the f would, who would do that? Who would put anchovies I, I, on my pizza? I, I, I don't want no settle, that, settle down with the language there, pal. All right? You know, if you got anchovies on your pizza, you just must have gotten mixed up with another order. I'll send you another f***ing pizza. It ain't a big deal. But I ain't asking no anchovies, man. What, matter of fact, let me ask you something. What the f is an anchovy any damn way? It's like a f***ing sardine. That's what a f***ing anchovy is, okay, pal? It's like a f***ing sardine. Hey, 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 let me tell you something, man. First of all, what's your name? What is your name? I'm Gino. I'm Gino. So you're the owner of the damn pizza place. Yeah, I own the damn pizza place. I don't need people calling me and cursing at me because it was a mistake. You know, mistakes happen, pal. Worst things go on in this life than, than you're getting some anchovies on your pizza. Hey, man, hey, okay, so here's the deal. I done had a bunch of guests come to my house, I order pizza, and every last one of them got anchovies on them. You know what I'm saying? So I got an issue with it. I done spent over $50 with you with these pizzas, and the, and the shit made wrong. Nobody likes anchovies? No, I told you something. Folks, black people don't eat no anchovies, man. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I, 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 I'm almost certain I've served anchovy pizza to black people before. Okay, the black people that I know don't eat anchovies. Okay? okay. Well, then we'll send you some pizzas without any anchovies on them. Hey, you know I what? I don't like your. I don't like your attitude. You know what, man? You don't mess well, around maybe if you didn't come to me with so much attitude to start with, you wouldn't get no attitude. Okay, okay, look at it. Don't get your ass whooped, okay? Don't get your ass whooped. What did you just... What, excuse said, me, what did you just... Did you just threaten me? I said don't get your Who the f do you no think you're throat. talking... Who the f do you think you're talking to, face? I, I, I'm talking to Gino, the owner That's of right. Pizzeria. You. That's right. That's right. You don't tell me you're going to kick my ass, okay, pal? You know where the pizzeria is. You know, okay, so, you just so, calm so, the so, down. Do, do you, do you, okay, that's it. I'll tell you what, man. In the next three to five minutes, I'm going to walk down there and kick your little ass behind putting these anchovies on here and having a little pompous attitude like you think you can't get your ass whooped. You come on down here, okay? And we'll see. Do me a favor. Go f yourself and the f horse you rode in on, okay? And bring it on down here. All right, we'll take care of it there. Now, stop some anchovies up your f***ing all right, pal? 
Okay, 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 cool. All right, cool. Okay, you okay, okay. You like to say okay a lot, do you? Just yeah. that one you, of your you, favorite you, words, okay? You, you need to have somebody there with you when I get there, because I promise yeah. you, Gino's going to get his ass up. Yeah, Gino's shaking in his boots, pal. Me and my anchovies, we're sitting here scared out of our minds right now. Okay, you okay, let me, me tell you. I've dealt with clowns like you my whole life. Please. Okay, let, let, let me tell you this here. Do you do you, do you know who you're talking to? I'm talking to some f-ing idiot who don't know how to talk. That's what I'm talking to. No, you're talking to nephew Tom from the Steve Harvey Morton Show, Mister Gino. You just got pranked. <laughs> you telling me I'm throwing f bombs all over the radio? <laughs> <laughs> you dropping f bombs all over the radio, who, who, baby? Who, who I want to know who did this to me because they're getting some f bombs. Do you, 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 you have a guy that works for you? Uh, he says he works uh, five to close. Andre, you got a Andre? You got a Dre that works for you? Yeah, I got a Dre that works for me. And Dre's going to be spending some time in a walk-in freezer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Black Tommy, people man. don't need anchovies, huh? <laughs> Black people don't need anchovies, baby. Hey, I got to ask you this, Mister Gino. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Your show, <laughs> the baddest radio show in the land, is the Steve Harvey Show. <laughs> With no Steve Harvey show, Morning. Baby. No Steve answer. Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. Okay, I talk to, Hello. may I speak to Terry? This is she. My name is Daryl. Damon is my brother. I don't live in Dallas where y'all live at. I'm uh, the one that live out of town. But we didn't have a family meeting and talked about it. And uh, I know Travis is your son. He's eight years old. But the problem is, the reason why I'm calling you, uh, Terry, is because we done found out that Travis ain't none of Damon's child. Excuse me? Travis ain't none of Damon's child. We, you, we, he been paying you child support here for the last Wait, eight. Wait, hold on. And you said your name was who? I'm Daryl. I'm Damon's brother. And who gave you this information? We we all have found the information out. We actually gonna go down there to the courthouse and get all this stuff rectified. But we didn't found out that th- Travis ain't none of uh, ain't none of Damon's child, and he been sitting up here sending you money seven eight hundred dollars a month, and this child ain't even here. Now I hate for Travis to find this out, and he gonna have to find it out. But, wait, 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 he ain't finna find that but who, why are you calling me? Look, the family didn't had a meeting, and I'm the one that they decided to make the phone call and tell you what's going on. No, no I don't, but you, 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 you don't have a damn thing to do with this. You, you ain't nobody daddy over here, so I'm not sure what you're calling for or who died made you king or wanted you to be head in charge to call, but that is not going to work out. But let me, why, why are you doing this to my brother? That's what I'm saying. For eight years, the man been sending you 700 something dollars a month, and, and, and this ain't even his child. Well, you know, I, I'm... Why am, why am I even talking to you? I'm not really sure. Uh, your brother need to call me if he has any problems or questions. You have a good day. Day, day. Hello? You don't hang no damn phone up on me. Damon told me your little ass was hard-headed anyway. Now, look. Wait I'm, a minute. Huh? You know what? You you got the wrong one, baby. Like, I'm trying to not lose all my religion today, but you about to make me lose it on your about to make you me lose what? You don't know who you with over here. So, like I said before... Uh, my son, your uh, nephew that you try not to claim over there. I don't know why you came from wherever there. You said you came from the Dallas to try to cross the mess. From, I came from California down here to Dallas, and I'm telling and you. You need to take your black come back to California because down here, it, it, you don't know me like that. No, I don't know you, but I'm finna know you, and Travis finna know that my brother ain't his daddy. Not, I, not, I, and, and I don't know. You know what? You need to talk to your brother again. That's what you need to do, and you don't need to be talking to me. You finna send us all the money my brother didn't sent y'all. <laughs> and when I do, Look, when I send when I send all that eight years worth of money back, you you gonna send every dime back because it belonged to my brother. That ain't my brother's child. Now we ain't got time to be going on no Mari Povich show or nothing to find out who the daddy. You know what? Like I said, you picked the wrong one. It'd be your best bet not to call me anymore. You actually, it is a good thing that you call because if you came knocking on my door, you'd have got your for today. No, you go. Uh, that's my second thing I'm finna do if we can't rectify it over the phone. I don't have a problem coming over there, knocking down some doors and getting some questions answered. Because, damn it, this ain't Damon's baby. It, obviously, you must wish it was yours since you're taking so much interest. No, it ain't mine. 
But but it, it ain't Damon's either. And we got seven hundred. You, you must not have any and looking for some. But I, I'm sorry, this was taken over here. And Damon will really continue to pay what he owes. Damon don't owe so another... With, that's what's wrong with you brothers now. You don't want to pay. I'm sorry. He's going to continue to pay. And you can call whoever you want to call him, do whatever you want to do. So go back and tell your mama and everybody else who, 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 who waiting for this meeting to let them know. It ain't happening. Look, my mama ain't got nothing to do with it. Mama been... So you, my... your mama, you said your mama and all y'all got together. She the same way. I, I see where you get it from. You act just like her. Y'all some nosy, some nosy people. Mind your own damn business. That's a grown man. That ain't my mama said it from the get go that it wasn't that it, it wasn't Damon child. Nah, that means your mama's a two faced lie because you ain't what your mama said. You ain't finna sit here and bring my mama up in this. Well, if you know so much, then you back, come knock on my door. Come knock on my door if you want to. We done done the math. Seven hundred and fifty dollars times twelve, <laughs> then times eight is seventy two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much money my brother done sent you, and that's how much we want back. And I need you to get to working on this money now. Mm, okay. Why don't you come over here and get it? Don't get your <laughs> whooped today, Terry. Come on over here. You don't see them get their <laughs> whooped. You, you in Dallas. When is, you, you, I don't care nothing about, about I'm in no Dallas. This ain't California. So what? Well, is, I don't even know what the hell. I don't, why, I don't even know why I'm wasting my time talking to you. Like I said, you, your, your brother is, is a weak. If he got to have you, y'all had a meeting and you got to be the one to call. I, I'm not really understanding. Look, I got one more thing I need to say to you. Is you listening to me? You know, you getting on my damn nerves. That's what you're doing. You, you, you respect me. Are you listening to me? You what? This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got oh, pranked. My <laughs> oh, my God. You just got pranked by your sister Tanya, baby. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> she say, talk to her about her baby daddy and that baby. Yeah, I don't play with the children. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed. All right, let me ask you this. What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey Moore. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to read you. Uh, Jordan, please. This is Jordan. Hey Jordan, how you doing? Uh, this K Dub. Uh, I'm calling. You know, um, uh, we we get somebody solicited your name for us. You know, we are a new social media outlet, and we're getting ready to go live tomorrow at eleven uh, uh, tomorrow morning. And we got a, you know, looks like we're gonna get a lot of followers, and this is gonna be a big app. So, uh, kind of wanted to see if you would be interested in uh, being a part of the app and, and what we got going. Well, I don't even know who who would give you my information. What is this? I don't, app I, don't about? I don't know. I don't know who who gave us your number or whatever, but they just told us you would be good for being on the um on the app tomorrow morning. Like I said, we finna go live, so we're trying to get pictures and videos in today so we can get pictures them on there for tomorrow. What is this app? What you want some pictures? Yeah, what see this app is uh this app is called Booty Drop. And what we do is people Booty Drop people yeah, yeah. So what happens is people send a video, they dropping their booty, or you could just send a picture of your behind. However you want to do it, you know, we're gonna make it look real good or whatever. But you know, you're gonna, you know, you represent. But this is the new social media outlet that people are gonna be communicating with. But this is booty drop, and we getting ready to drop this tomorrow morning. Like I said, like eleven o'clock tomorrow, it'll, it's gonna go, it's gonna go live, so you'll be able to see yourself on there. What? Ain't about booty drop. Uh uh-uh, uh, y'all. Uh uh-uh, uh, you got me messed up. I don't drop no booty for nobody but my man, okay? So I don't know who oh. told you I was going to be on here, but I'm not doing no booty dropping. Okay, so hold up. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, first of all, somebody recommended you. Okay, you know, like well, I say. be crazy. Hold on now. We, we, we got all the slides filled except for this one. So, you know, I don't want to I don't want to have our app there and then we ain't got everything on there we need. So we got to have you to okay, do this. Well, look, well, there's a lot of booties, okay? I'm not the only one. You know, thank you. No, ain't going to be okay. no booty So I'm assuming, what? you know, I'm, I don't mean no harm. Like I say, this K-Dub, I don't mean no harm. But let me ask you this here. So evidently, you must have a butt that people admire. If You know, if they put your name on here, then you must have a, a butt that they admire. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be as gentleman as possible. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, is is it a reason why you don't want to, you know, participate? What? Ain't nobody going to be putting their booty on the Internet for some app? No. Mm-mm. No. No. Okay, so let me ask you this here. You ain't you you ain't on none of the other social media outlets. You don't have no pictures on there or nothing like that? Uh not with my booty, no. So you just trying to tell me that all your pictures are from the waist up. No, they're not all from the waist up.
laced up, but I'm not about to be flashing my booty and jiggling it for your app. But 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 see, you don't understand what booty drop can do for you. Booty drop, <laughs> booty drop can bring a lot of attention, you know, to you. You know, you you gonna you gonna meet a lot of people on this booty drop app, and that's, that's what I'm trying to say is I don't want you to knock it till you try it. Now I say we put your booty on there for the first week, and you see how many hits you get. And if you don't like it, then we take it down. That's all I'm saying. Just you know, let me tell you something. You're not about to put my booty on no app talking about give it a week. You know I got a brain, right? Ain't nobody about to be looking at my booty for a week on the internet. Give you, give, all I'm saying is give your booty a week. That's all I'm saying. No, give your booty no, a week on, I gave on my a app. Lifetime, and I, we good. No, not put my booty on no internet. So, okay. Are you um insecure about yourself? No, I feel great about myself. That's why I can say no. <sighs> Let me just say this to you. Now, when, once booty drop blow up, and become a big a big time social media, then you know a social uh, outlet. Then you're gonna be wanting to get back on here. And I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, K Dub. I ain't gonna want you on here no more because of the way you acting with me now. Well, that's okay, K Dub. You do you, boo. It's not happening. I'll go ahead okay. and follow y'all tomorrow, but I'm not about to be on there. So you don't want to be a star. I'm trying to make you a star. Is what I'm trying to say. You I'm know? all right. I don't think I'm gonna be an Instagram star for my booty jiggling. I'm okay. There's plenty of people doing that already. Sure, you'll find somebody to get that slot. I'm just trying to make you a star. That's all I'm Great. trying to do. I... You know what? I'm really what I really want to know is who the f told you to call me? This some more bull. Don't nobody need this. You don't call me talking about you want to see my booty. Who do you think I am? Better question. Who do you think you are? This is some bull. Uh uh. Black women don't have time for this. You need to call talking about you gonna pay some bills. That's what you need to call talking about. Don't call me what? talking about no booty. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Don't call you me say? talking about no booty. Call me talking about you want to pay some student loans. Tell me you're trying to pay a car note. Don't call me talking about you want to see my booty on the internet. This is so ridiculous. Like, what is this booty? Okay, okay, okay. So I guess it's safe to say you ain't going to drop your booty. Ain't nobody dropping no booty. I'm launching this tomorrow. I'm launching a whole lot of booties tomorrow, and I'm going to have one space empty. You see well, what I'm saying? Well, yeah, yeah, this is a great lesson in being prepared, starting early, because you're going to encounter some no's, brother. No, but really, who the f I need to know who gave you my number. Like, really, who thought that was a good idea? No, really, because you dodged in the question. I don't appreciate that. I need to know, like, who? Ooh, I, I, ooh, like I said, ooh, I don't know who gave. I don't know all that. All, my my job is to get booty drop filled, and I'm missing one booty. And here it is now. You know, here it is the day before I'm launching. Here it is now. You don't want to do it. Okay, well, but I need to know who. Like, why I, would they do this? Okay, Tommy, the one told me you was gonna do it. He said you would be up for it. Who who is Tommy? Tommy Tommy told me you would drop that booty for our for our booty uh, drop uh, who, app. I don't know no Tommy. Who is Tommy? Tommy, nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Oh, you're playing. <laughs> Jordan, you just got pranked by your girl, Amber. Okay, Amber. Okay. Okay, nephew. <laughs> okay. I, okay, y'all playing this morning. You Y'all got my blood pressure up. Okay, y'all playing. Okay. You you good, baby. I'm sorry, I, baby. You, you good? Know we good? I'm going to calm down. I'm going to calm down. I'm going to calm down. I see you, though. I see you. You got me. You got me. <laughs> Was I lit? I'm sorry. Was it? Look, you got me lit. It was a little pushed up <laughs> over here, okay? Okay? You got me using words I'm not supposed to. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh, supposed man. To be saying some of them words. <laughs> the booty drop. Okay. Tell me this, though, baby, before we go. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> the Steve Harvey Morning Show with Nephew Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Cozy TV. My wife pitches. You sent my wife pitches. Run it, cat. Yo. May I speak to Trevor? Yeah, that's Trevor. Hey, man, you been sending pictures of, uh, of your damn stomach to my wife's phone? Say what? Hey, man, have your been sending pictures of your muscles on your stomach to my wife's phone? Man, who in the hell is this calling me with this This fish right here. This who? This fisher, man. My name is Fisher, but they call me Fish. What I want to know from you, have your been sending pictures of your stomach to my wife's phone? Man, I don't know what the hell you talking about, say, boy. Don't call me with this about am I sending pictures. And if I am sending pictures, ain't none of your 
business. It is my business. That's my wife. And you send this. No she got, oh. What the hell are you doing? You must ain't got. You must ain't ripped up like me or something. You were worried about a sending pictures of his summer. Hey man, get to some business. Don't call my phone. It's too. I got some business. My business is my wife, man. And if you said it, let me tell you something. Yeah, please, mama. I'm finna tell you right now. When I, when I find you, if the same muscles that's on her phone is 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 is, is up underneath your shirt, I'm whooping your. Hey man, I, <laughs> I ain't hard to find, Playboy. You can find me, and if I am sending pictures to your wife, she must like it, Playboy. Hey man, hey, let me tell you. No, you're being disrespectful. Is what you're doing. You understand? You being you being a little. You being a little calling me on the phone with this You better check somebody else about this here before I had your wife rubbing on my stomach. Hey, man, who you, hey, see, who you calling a man? Who you think you, you hey, hey, who you think you talk, let me tell you I'm something, okay, tell me. They call my phone about a picture. That's who hey, I'm talking to. Because I, them, them, if I find out them, your muscles hey, on babe. my wife, what? Obviously, you found my phone number, so I guess you can find me, homeboy. Hey, you, how about this here? Where are you? Let's get this cracking. I'm with, hey, ask your wife where I'm at. Where she at? You My know? wife is at work right now. Yeah, if you, th you think so? What? How you think she got them pictures on, boy? Hey, man, I tell yeah. you what. When I find when I find you, you're a little disrespectful. Ask, some, ask your wife I where I'm at. Yeah, that's what you do, playboy. You calling me with this old Oh, it's a cure. You must not be ripped up like me. Hey man, hey, 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 I I got I got muscles on my stomach. I got I'm headed to the gym right now to get these get this stomach right for your wife. Huh? Hey man, let yeah. me tell you something, man. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Hey, how about this here? I know who your wife feels. Nah. That's all right. I know who she is too. Okay. Well, I, I, that's all right. And I'll be calling her. I'm calling her, letting her know what's going on. Check this out. She like my stomach too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you like that, don't you? No, no, she I tell you what, too. I tell Just you like what, she gonna wife. like it when I get to her, because I'm gonna let your wife know what's going on around here. Say, man, you don't know nothing about my wife. Me, my wife, and your wife might be rubbing together, homeboy. You don't know nothing about my business. Hey, man, you ain't finna be disrespectful to me, man. I done told you once. Come see me. Come see me, homeboy. I will see you. I already asked you once, where are you? I'm gonna raise up my shirt so you can see this ripped up six-pack that your wife like. Yeah, all huh? right? Okay, okay. It's just a matter of time, then. Don't it's... call my phone with this You better go check your wife and don't be calling a grown man. Okay. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to call Ayana. That's that's who I'm going to call. Ayana, baby. Say what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. then slowed you down. Now, I yeah, I'm calling your wife. Well, call her then. We can get her on the freeway. And then, I'm we ain't got to... and then I'll call your wife and get her on my way. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you this here right now. Tell what me, I need is... Tell to me whatever you want to tell me, Playboy. I'm telling you right now, punk, where you at? I'm, I'm at <laughs> Boulevard, homeboy. That's where I'm at. Now, you got my wife's name. I, I, I want to know your name. They call you Fish or Chicken or whatever the <laughs> they call you. You can meet me wherever you want to, homeboy, and we can settle it. Ain't no big <laughs> deal to me. I deal with punk chumps like you every day. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. not a problem. Not a problem. <laughs> I'll be right... How long you gonna be there? I'm gonna be there till your punk get here. I, okay, I, you look here. I want you to take my na my name down so you'll know who you waiting on. You got I you. Heard what, uh, you said your name was Chicken or some like that. Do you have a pen? I don't need no pen, punk. Okay, you do. Do you want to know who this is? Uh, you just told me who you was, homeboy. Oh, now, I, finna me, me. I, I, I ain't told you my full name, chump. I don't need to know your name. You got my number. Calling me was a about a tattoo off. It's muscles. It's, it's muscles of your stomach on my wife's okay, phone. Okay. What? Did you look at the other pictures? How many sit-ups do you be doing? Did, did, you, did you look at the other pictures? What other? Well, okay. Hey, yeah. hey man. Hey, man. Yeah. I'm not finna be playing with you yeah. about oh, my I wife. Ain't play, I, I ain't playing with you. I'm playing with your wife. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm finna okay. tell you That's something about I'm your wife. Okay. I'm finna tell you something about your wife that you don't know. If I don't know it, don't nobody else know it. Oh, I know it. I me and her know it. I, I just got off the phone with her. You want to know? You want me to tell you what your wife told me? Whatever, man. Say what you got to say. So I can get off the phone I'm gonna say this right here. I'm gonna say this, punk. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your wife Ayana got me to prank phone call. Yo, ignorant <laughs> man. How stupid are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs>
This nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, your wife got me the prank phone call, you dude. You Boy, Damn, you you are more ignorant than me. Boy, that hell for that. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Boy, wait till I see this. Ooh, wee. You Tommy, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boy, God, dog. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, Trevor, I got to ask you this, man. Give me, get, answer this question for me. What is? What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The only one with nephew Tommy on it, I imagine. <laughs> 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 Y'all cold, boy, I tell you that. Oh, man. All right, Trev, man. You be easy, man. Go light on Ayana, all right? I'm going to show we'll tell Steve Harvey. I'll say, what's <laughs> up? <laughs> Hi, I'm trying to find Chad. He's not in right now. How can I help you? Okay. All right. Well, I'm sorry, man. What's your name? Who is this? My name is Perkins. I actually have a delivery, uh, uh, edible fruit delivery for Chad, and I'm trying to make sure I got the address and everything correct. Oh, um, well, who's it from? I think it's from you. You, um, your name is, what's your name again? Davina. I didn't order any, any edible arrangements. Okay. It's for Valentine's. Let me see. Yeah, that, that, um, that definitely must be a mistake. It, you sure it was in Chad ordered some edible arrangements for me? I think that that might make some sense. Oh, it's for Chad. Okay, here it is. Who's, who, who sent this? Miss Dorita. Dorita. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. That's not me at all. I'm Davina, and that doesn't make any sense why she would send is, anything. Okay, hold right. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm Chad so Your name White. is Davina. But that's the name that's, that's a totally is, different person. Okay, so do you know Dorita Clark? Who is that? Oh, that's not someone I associate with personally. That's Chad's ex-wife, and that doesn't make any sense for her to be sending us anything. So you don't, you don't even have well, to. Well, I don't think, I don't think he just, sent. Um, I, don't, I don't think she sent us. If she didn't send it, she, she sent this to Chad. She didn't send it to you. Okay, well, I'm just gonna let you know we don't need that delivery. So thank you anyway. You can go ahead and um. And you can keep that for yourself. Oh, no, no, but no, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on, Miss, um, I'm going to make sure I say the right name. Miss Davina. Oh, okay, don't worry. Don't, don't, don't worry too much about that. If I don't make my deliveries, I, I don't get paid. I have to deliver these, uh, this edible fruit, man. Okay, I have well, to deliver. Okay, well, it doesn't make any sense, so now I'll just discard it myself if you, if you need to bring it. But I'm sure well, you I have to bring, bring it. it. But let me, let me, let me ask you something. I mean, this lady, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to pry into anything, but I mean, have you, have you bought him anything for Valentine's? No, I, I haven't, but I have plenty of time so to get into about the, But the ex-wife done bought some. That don't make sense All to right. me. Why, why haven't you bought anything All for right. your husband? All right, I don't think you need to worry about what I get from my man or what I don't get from my husband, all right? That's none of your concerns. Well, and well neither evidently is... this other lady, Ms. Dorita, is concerned about making sure he gets something. I'm sorry, who am I speaking to? My name is Perkins. Okay, and I already told you we don't need no guy. Delivery. I don't need you asking me questions about and my I family, told you or I my marriage or anything else. All right. Well, let me tell you. I'm not gonna fight you. Fight with you on the phone. We're not gonna be too cool to argue. I'm all for that. We don't need anything. Uh, what? No, I need. You don't need to be on the phone. You don't need to question me about what I do or don't do for my husband. That's absolutely none of your business. I need to know when Mr. Chad is gonna be there. So, Mr. Chad, like, don't worry so much about Chad. This is our family business. Family business. I'm his wife. You understand that? I'm his wife. I understand that. But evidently his ex-wife wanted to have his fruit. You are really pissing me off. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come deliver that to you and you're gonna throw it away. This is Chad's fruit bag. And she did she send you specifically? I was I just want to understand what the hell is going on. Because you seem really invested in 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 my husband's ex-wife. I don't even understand why this is pissed me off. So I want to answer. You use the right word. You're not invested in Chad. Why haven't you bought anything for Chad? Perkins, Perkins, I'm going to need to speak to your guy and the manager because I'm getting real upset right now and you don't want no problems with me. So why don't you hand over your manager the phone and we're going to settle this. Me and your manager, and I don't want to ever see you because I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I just so disrespected on this guy phone call right now. Ruin my whole damn so why don't you pass the manager the phone? I'm not afraid to put you on the phone with my manager. I lose oh, you're going to have to put me on the phone with your manager. You don't have to put me. I'm going to call back. I'm going to make sure you get fired. Just respect me. You taking your anger out on the ex-wife and you taking it out on me. The anger that you have for her, you taking it out on me. That's what you're doing. No, I'm taking out the disrespect that you keep laying on top of me like, like you don't know how to talk to 
All I'm saying is the lady won't chance to have this proof back. None of your business. So like I said, give your manager the phone because I'm teaching it that you're fine. Okay, okay, all right. Can you hold on for me? Yeah, I can hold on. Go ahead. Hey, this is the man's wife. She don't want me to deliver the stuff because the man's wife gets who it. Are you f- serious? So Why now, you now she got an attitude and she's cussing at me. And I've been talking crazy to her, and I have one. Nigga, I can't. I'm gonna the bouquet of stuff and fight for him, the proof ass. I need you to give your manager the phone. If that's enough explaining, I'm gonna tell him what Hello? happened. Just Hello? 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 Who am I speaking with? Who am I speaking with, please? Hi, my name is Davina, and I need to talk to you about your your customer service delivery person, whatever he is. I have been so disrespected on the phone. I I've never been met with such hostility on the phone before. Uh, at this point, I just I I, I just want to put this behind me. I just want you to take it. Make sure you speak to him, penalize him if he doesn't understand what you just said. But he, 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 I will I will I will. I will definitely and, reprimand him and, for that. Yeah, and I don't want to make no delivery. Not to my not to my place of business. I'm here on Friday all day. I don't need any okay. d- delivery. Well, can I, can at I, you all don't want him to make the delivery, but can I ask no, you a question? Make the I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, I can't take it. I can't take it. Listen, this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Alright, your husband Chad got me to prank phone call with you. From the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your husband Chad got me the prank phone call. Oh my f- God. I'm so Are you serious? Me and your husband Chad got you, girl. Wow. I'm so stressed. I'm, I'm going to kill my husband. <laughs> Let me ask you something, baby. It's 2020. What's the baddest, and I mean the baddest radio show in the land? <laughs> The Steve Harvey Morning Show, for sure. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm trying to reach uh, Ty. Ty, is that, is that your name, Ty? Yeah, my name is Ty. Who is this? Hey, this is Kennedy, man. You can call me Ken, but this is Kennedy. You work with my wife, uh, with, with my wife, Catrice. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I work with Catrice, man. I've been working with her for years, man. What's going on? Okay, hey, what's 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 up, bro? I I can't remember if I met you before, Ty, or not. I ain't sure, I, I, but I seen your um your face. Okay, y- y'all be uh, the work, the job. Um, y'all be doing this um this 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 Zoom thing, right? Yeah, we do Zoom for conference calls, man. What, what's going on? What's up? Okay, so so let's let's take t- l- l- hear me out, man. So this what's going on? I noticed, you know, I passed by. The office, my wife in there doing the Zoom thing, and I see, you know, all these people on there, and y'all doing the, I guess y'all doing the conference call or whatever. But, yeah, right. you know, when I look yeah, closer, yeah, but when I look closer, you know, it seemed like when my lady talking, you know, when my wife talking, it seemed like you, you over there uh, uh, touching yourself, winking your eye, Whoa. you know, like you trying to make passes at her, give her a hint or something. You know, I, I don't know what the f- going on if you're trying to throw her some sign language or something but all this little this 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 this, this zoom golly golly bullshit yeah. this, this, this here gotta stop dog wait 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 first off man you got me messed up and and another thing man take all that bass out your voice you're gonna talk to me with a little respect now i've been knowing your wife for years man i got nothing but the utmost respect for her i would never do anything to disrespect her man i'm i'm married myself man i wouldn't put myself out there like that so what so- the f- is you what 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 are you doing while my wife talking on this on this on this on this zoom sh- dog what is you doing yo <laughs> i'm not doing anything but my job man and again we both grown ass men so you ain't gonna talk to me any kind of way you ain't gonna talk down to me man you ain't gonna call my phone and talk talk to me like a child okay All i'm, t- right? I'm, t- I'm let, let me okay let me let me go and put the, let me put this out here right here ty let me let me tell okay. you th- right here ty let me tell you this right now i'm telling you right here for lord I, I swear to you, man. If I see my, if I, when my wife get on the Zoom sh- again, if I find out you on there touching yourself, look like you wanking at her. I promise you. Soon as this 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 virus sh- get through, I promise you, all that Zoom golly golly sh- gonna get your ass whooped. I'm telling you right, motherfucking now, dog. Cut that bullshit <laughs> out on that damn conference, sh- man. Hey, 
hey, man, like I done told you, okay? Man, you need to quit talking to me that way. And you know what? F*** you, by the way, man. You ain't gonna call me and talk all this No, f*** you, man. man. You ain't gonna no, be with you. my wife with that bullshit. Touching ain't yourself, wanking with your wife, man. You what you? What is you wanking your mother eye for, man? What? I ain't winking at your wife. Are you crazy or something? Are you touched in the head, man? What's wrong with you? I ain't touch. I ain't, I'm, I'm gonna touch your mother ass up if I find out you on that zoom with that that all that zoom golly golly bullshit gonna get you fucked up. Well, I tell you what, you are, you better thank God for the co coronavirus, because if it was anything different, I'd be at your house on your ass right now. You hear what I'm saying? You, you can say what you want and do what you want. What, matter of fact, soon as this get up out the air, it's me and you, partner. Oh, Zoom, golly, golly, mother me and you. I ain't nothing between us but opportunity whenever you ready, mother I Ain't nothing between us but that virus. And as soon as that is gone... It's me and you. I told my wife you was over there doing that bullshit. I told hey, Catrice you, that. Bro, I done told you more than once. I have nothing but respect for your wife, but me and you, we ain't, bro. I, yeah, wait till this shit over, man. All this bullshit. You calling me on my phone, talking all this shit. I'm trying to do something. I got a married woman in this house making me crazy right now. Are you fucking out your mind, man? Whatever you ready to come over here and get your ass whooped, you go ahead and come over here. You go ahead and jump. Okay, let me ask you this here. Do you know, do you know Dwayne, Bean, and Big Mike? Do you know them? Y hell yeah, I know them. They're my, they're my boys, man. So what you know about them? What I know about them, what I know about uh -huh. them, Ty, is uh -huh. they told, Ty, listen to me, they told me to call you. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked. You got pranked by your boy Dwayne, Bean, and Big Mike. <laughs> Gotta laugh during this time right now, baby. It's time we gotta oh, laugh, man. man. <laughs> Bro, that is the the most excitement I've had since lockdown. Thank you, man. <laughs> hey, man. So y'all, uh, your job doing all these? Uh, y'all doing Zoom conferences? You doing a lot of them? Yeah, man. That's all we've been doing, man. Because you know we can't go anywhere, can't meet up with people. So, man, we we've been doing them a whole lot, man. That's all we've been doing. I hear you. Well, hang in there, man. Be safe. Keep your family safe, man. And try to put a laugh on, on somebody's face. That's all the nephew you're trying to do, man. And you know what, man? We appreciate everything you do during this time, man. You guys are helping us stay up. So thank you, bro. All right, man. 2020, let me know this, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Show with Nephew Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Cozy, Cozy TV. Cozy.